Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. I'm Silver Orpheus. Last time, we defeated Fuchsia, City Le Fuchsia City's gym leader, Koga, and we received the Soul Badge, making five badges out of eight. This time around, we are back here in Celadon City, because I had to go and do something real quick, and aside from that, Celadon is the neighboring town of the next city that we are exploring. We're going to go ahead and head on east on the Route 7, and... If we head on through this gate right here, we'll be where we need to be. Oh dear, I think I gave that poor old guard too many pewter crunchies to eat. They're rather dry if you don't have any tea or anything to wash them down. And for that... Oh, that tea you have. It looks awfully tasty. What? I can have a drink? Gee, thanks. Well, if you really want to go into Saffron City, I guess I can let you pass. I'll share this tea with the guards working the other gates around the city, too. And that's that. Welcome to Saffron City, the giant metropolis of the Kanto region. This place is huge. And we have Jesse and James over here. Just let us through already. No way. Only authorized members are allowed. I was told to let no one else in. How can you say that when we're on the same side? How rude. You deny a beautiful girl what she wants. And... I just dropped my controller. Move it already! Hey, Jesse, wait for me! Well, something seems to be of awful importance there. However, we are not do here to do that. We are going to be exploring Saffron City as a whole, and we have Team Rocket grunts everywhere. Saffron City belongs to Team Rocket. Uh, that it does, it seems. This place is in- this place is infested. Alright, sorry about the cut there. There's really nothing much you can do when you have your footage interrupted by a little sister who cannot be quiet for the life of her. Anyway, we have this house right here, Mr. Psychic. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Wait, don't say a word. You wanted this. And here he will give you TM40 Psychic. Uh, if you have a star you or anything like that, or a Pokemon that does not learn Psychic through level up, or pretty much any other Psychic type Pokemon that can't learn Psychic through level up, which I don't know why you would, uh, it's there. Anyway, there's a Pokemon Center right here. You got more Rocket Grunts everywhere. With Selfco under our control, we can sell Pokemon for profit all around the world. We'll get stinking rich. Yeehaw! That was horrible. I don't even live, like, I don't even live in, like, the south anymore. Well, technically, yeah, I do live in the south, but not in the southern regions of my state anymore. Like I used to. Thank God. Boss said he'll take this town in the name of Team Rocket. That doesn't sound good at all. And we have the Pote, and we have the Trainer Fan Club. Okay, we saw one of these in Vermilion City as well, but there's also one here in Saffron City. So let's go ahead and talk to the guys around here. Lorelei of the Elite Four is just so cool. She could freeze me solid with her icy gaze. Alright, more talk of the Elite Four. I'm a huge fan of Lieutenant Surge of the Vermilion City... Of the, Ver, of the Vermilion City Gym Leader. What? You have his autograph? Oh wow, I'm super jealous. Yeah. Nobody knows who the gym leader of the Viridian City Gym is. It's a mystery. I'm so curious. That it is a mystery. And yes, there is a gym in, Vir in Viridian City. Why haven't we challenged it? Because of the fact of the mystery of the mysterious gym leader. What do you have to say? You're the last guy here. I really admire Bruno of the Elite Four. He's a fighting type expert and super buff too. We haven't seen this Bruno. We have seen Lorelei. Um, Lorelei was the lady who helped us out in that uh, when we were about to get four on one. We have an Officer Jenny here. Team Rocket, we've been cracking down on them, but they keep coming. And here we have the Saffron City Gym, which is guarded by a Team Rocket Grunt. Don't you, don't you go thinking you can stand up to us, or I'll have to hurt you. Says the one blocking a Pokemon gym. You, lady, you are blocking an important place of interest. You really have no room to be blocking a Pokemon gym when you're over here. 
Anyway, we have another place right here called, with the same marker as the gym, called the Fighting Dojo. We're gonna go ahead and hop on in here, as this place actually has some pretty interesting stuff here for us. Uh, we have a coach trainer here. Hey, I'm a coach trainer. I'm on loan to the Fighting Dojo. I'm a pretty strong trainer. Wanna have a battle? We sure do. Let's go. Uh, this lady here is more so a trainer of what this place has to offer. So, there's... That's pretty much not much. We do have a bunch of... This is a fighting type area, if you can tell. The fighting Dojo... Well, it's kind of in the name. Every trainer here uses fighting types, and uh, you have a level 32 macho. Come on. We just beat a level 40 gym leader who is also weak to psychic types. Get out of here. You're not a match for me. And... Uh, oh, you have an Electabuzz. Um, okay. Uh, I guess we can send out Bulba Fett because... Uh, yeah, Bulba Fett hasn't seen it really, hasn't really seen any action in a while. So it would be a pretty good idea to actually um, get him out there. Uh, see what we can actually do against an Electabuzz. I mean, Electabuzz really can't do much. I mean, it, we're ten levels higher than it. Let's go for the Mega Drain, see what we can actually do to it. Hopefully it is. Hopefully it's not. Hopefully it's not. No. Not even close. It's going for Thunder Punch. That's not really gonna, that's not gonna do anything to Boba Fett. Not at all. And that should be a KO. And we're also getting, and Boba Fett's gonna get his health back. That is really, really, that, okay, that's really good. The Electabuzz is now dead. Uh, Boba Fett back to full health and the coach trainer is down. So what is our reward, lady? TM23 Thunder Punch. We already have Thunderbolt, which is a stronger move. Plus it's on a special attacker. Yeah, no thank you. Anyway, we have four trainers over here. I'm going to be fighting every single one of them. And if I had, and I'm also going to be cutting all of them out. So I will see you after this gauntlet of battles. Star grew to level 44 during the first fight, as did Kazooie growing, growing level 42. The trio grew to level 46 during this fourth and final battle. And with them done, Joy-Con Drift strikes again. We're going to go and talk to this guy. I am the Karate Master. I am the leader here. You wish to challenge us? Expect no mercy. Fwah! And we have yet another battle. This guy is actually unique. He has one Pokemon. That being a Poliwrath. I believe that's a Pokemon we've never seen before. I don't know, but I'm showing you off anyway, just in case. And because you were level 40, 34 to my level 39 and a fighting type, you are in no position to be standing up to Starmie. You are done. Goodbye. Ah, oh, I love this offensive beast. 781 experience, Bulba Fett, you're level 44, and wants to learn growth. At level 44? No, thank you. And that's it for the Karate Master. One hit, just like his pupils. Indeed, I have lost. But I beseech you, do not take our emblem as, as your trophy. In return, I will give you a prized fighting type Pokemon. Choose whichever one you like. Here we are given an option between two fighting type Pokemon. Just like you would have a choice in obtaining your starter Pokemon in a regular Pokemon game, here we have the choice to, cho to choose between Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan. And we're gonna go ahead and start things off with Hitmonlee just because it's my personal favorite of the two. Hitmonlee is a very offensive fighting type Pokemon. In fact, really both of these two are. Hitmonlee though is more the bulkiest, is more the bulkier variant, and it learns a and it learns a lot of various kicking attacks. Hit, um, do be forewarned, it's a pure fighting type, and you are going to be up against a bunch of psychic types in the near in the near future. So um, use it with caution. Same thing goes to Hitmonchan, who is more of the sweeping variant, has paper defenses, but on the contrary, is able to learn the three elemental punches. You received a TM for Thunder Punch from the coach trainer in here. 
that can be immediately taught to Hitmonchan. For that, Hitmonchan is actually very reliable because with three elemental punches plus the same type of attack bonus, uh, bonus punching move, Hitmonchan can be very useful. However, like with Hitmon Lee, there's a bunch of psychic types in the near future, and Hitmonchan is a pure fighting type Pokemon. In addition to that, it is not going to be taking these psychic type attacks nearly as well as Hitmon Lee potentially can because of its paper thin defenses. So, uh, we got two choices. We got either the bulky fighting type sweeper or the faster fighting type sweeper with no defenses, but with a with uh, uh, with a better move set. Again, Hitmon Lee's my favorite, but you know what? I think I'm gonna make an exception with Hitmon Chan this time. Let's do it. We got Hitmon Chan from the Karate Master. Also, whichever one you do not choose, you cannot get at all. So take that with caution. You can only choose one. So, that is it for things here at the Fighting Dojo. Now we're going to go ahead and head off elsewhere in Saffron City. We're going to be, we're literally just going to take this chance to explore everywhere here. Um, there's plenty to do here. So we got you here. My daughter likes to mimic people. It's rather vexing. In fact, people now call her the coffee cat because of her mimicry. My daughter is so self-centered. She has... She has but few friends. Maybe she'll mellow down a little if you show her a Pokemon she likes. That we shall see. Let's hunt on upstairs, because I think that's where she might be. In here we have a Dodo. Pretty mirror. Here, look at me. See how pretty I can be. In here we have a little girl. Hi! Do you like Pokemon? Uh, I didn't know you were me. You were... <laughs> Quit mimicking. But that's my favorite hobby. Now, the Pokemon that she wants to see. It... Yep, I do have one. Clefairy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the trio out of the party for now. Uh, I will re-add you later. Anyway, if you show this little girl a fairy, let's show it. Oh wow, a real-life Clefairy! I've never seen one before. Thank you so much. You know, you know what? I'll give you a TM. That lets your Pokemon create a copy of itself. TM08 Substitute. If you're playing in doubles, that might, that's actually a really good move to use. However. 98% of these battles here are single battles, and that, no thank you. Also, I would like to have the trio back in my party, because the fairy is not a primary stay. I want my Doug trio back. Thank you. Get back in here. And that is pretty much it for the copycat, aside from this moonstone. Moonstones are you are in elemental stone. You can use them on Clefairy if you like, if you want its evolution of Clefable. They can also be used on Jigglypuff to get its evolution of Wigglytuff. But that's rather near here or there. We're done there. Next up, we have this place over here. All these buildings are pretty big. What do you have to say? Thank you for writing. I hope to see you soon. Hey, don't look don't look in my letter. Copycat is cute. I hear she really likes Clefairy. And that is your cue to show her a Clefairy. Unfortunately for you, I kind of beat you to it. Because I already had a Clefairy on me. And that is pretty much it for him. That's... We can't go any further that way. So, what we're going to go ahead and head on and do is that we're going to head on... Okay, that is where we need to be going next. So I believe, so if that's the case, the final destination for us today is right here in the Pokemon Center, of all places. Because here, 
Selfco is widely known to all. It's a victim of its own fame. It attracted Team Rocket. That was Selfco we were at, huh? Pokemon's growth rates differ from species to species. Interesting. And what do you have to say? I'm a huge Raichu fan who came all the way here, all the way from Alola. Let's trade our, let's trade your Cantonian Raichu and my Raichu. Yes. We can get yet another Alolan variant. However, like with Marowak, they're starting to throw the evolutions at you now. I mean, you're gonna need to ha I mean, need a Pikachu and not actually evolve it. For this reason. I have two Pikachu on me, and off screen I went to buy a Thunderstone, which is the item that you need to give a Pikachu in order to evolve it. I am going to use this, um, I'm going to use this Thunderstone on this Pikachu so I can actually evolve it. I will see you after the evolution. Alright, with the trade done, let's go ahead and initiate it. So, I have a Cantonian Raichu right here. I'm going to trade you this level 4 Cantonian Raichu for your level 30 Alolan Raichu. So, Alolan Raichu is... So what's the difference between this one and the Cantonian variant? Uh, one, the Alolan Raichu has less defense, and it is also a part Psychic type, which is a huge turn on for me. Also, I love exactly how Alolan Raichu looks, especially compared to its uh, Cantonian variant. It's riding on its tail like a surfboard. That's cool. Electric Psychic type is also a very unique type for the generation. So, having that be a thing is really cool as well. Also, I don't think... Also, if it has the move Psychic in its moveset, which I'm about to find out now... But if it doesn't have Psychic, you can use that TM that you got from Mr. Psychic and actually teach it to him. So that's that's really nice. So you can use that. So you can use the TM, and then you can find out exactly. No, it doesn't even have it. So you can use that TM you got from Mr. Psychic and teach your Alolan this newly Alolan Raichu Psychic. You can also give it Thunderbolt from Lieutenant Surge. So that's also really good. But anyway, got the Pokemon bio out of the way. That's pretty much all there is to do here in Saffron City. Next time, we're going to take out Team Rocket. See you guys next time.